welcome back to the bloated chef i am chef jerome an actual bloated chef and before we get to today's informative and entertaining tutorial please be sure to slap down on that like button click the subscribe button smash that notification bell and share with the entire planet please keep your hands inside the ride at all times and we thank you chef we are on the big board and what do we have more leftovers three spuds been hanging around a green onion I got some of those jalapeno pepper jack kind of cheese sticks from something I messed around with I got some fresh sliced mozzarella I've got pasta sheets lasagna sheets we are gonna smash all this together we're gonna get whimsical we are gonna make fried ravioli cheese sticks and crispy mashed potato waffles. We are clear to launch for Whimsical. First things first, get our water going. You know it. Heavily salted. Speaking of heavily salted, we're going to salt a big pot of water because that's where we're going to par cook our pasta sheets. Back to the board. Let's go ahead and do some maintenance on our spuds. Get them peeled, get them chopped in chunks, and get them in that water. Drop a lid on top. And let's get to working. We are going to set up our shock water, that is cold water, to shock our pasta sheets. Because we're simply going to blanch these just a little bit, maybe 30 seconds to 45 seconds until they're pliable. Hashtag pliable. Get them in that cold water, stop them from cooking. And now we lay them all out on some paper towels, we dry them off, and we start adding our jalapeno cheese sticks. A little bit of mozzarella on top we start to roll them inside of those cooked pliable ravioli sheets aka lasagna sheets from here let's add our heavy cream garlic butter salt and pepper or our mashed potatoes we're gonna let that simmer on very low heat while we get our egg wash and batter together for our ravioli sticks there goes our egg wash six eggs about a quarter cup of water all right, well, I guess the potatoes are cooled. We're going to rice them. You can push them through a ricer. You can stick them in a mixer. You can do what you want with them. Just make sure they're nice and cooked. There goes some baking powder. Very important for the crispness and density of our waffles. There goes some good-looking high-gluten flour, green onions, some shredded cheese mix. Sorry, I did use bagged. Go ahead. Fuck me. I don't care. Salt and pepper, yes. Okay, now then, here goes our butter, cream, garlic, salt and pepper mixture. Yes, it's all in there. We will whip that together, get a look at it, maybe add a little bit more, get a look at it. Do we need any more? I think it's good where it's at. All right, let's get our dry mix going for our fried ravioli. There goes. A bunch of rice flour and a teeny bit of all-purpose flour okay we're gonna pinch those sides off drop them in that rice flour drop them in that egg wash drop them in the breadcrumbs you already know what those are that's a bunch of triscuits and Cheez-Its and Hooters and Tooters and Cooters that's right one more time we'll give you one more demonstration pinch the edges off Roll it in that rice flour, drop it in the egg wash, run it through the breadcrumbs, and giggity giggity, all right. We've got 15 nice looking pre-breaded ravioli sticks ready to be fried. Shall we not head over to the stovetop and see how this baby rolls out? We've got a hot walk at 350 degrees, preheated. Look at them. They hit the grease and they are immediately talking and dancing that's what you want let's do four at a time four at a time looks good those are perfect they're floating the yakking is stopped as they say it's not talking to me so that tells me that they're done look at that yeah they're done let's go in with four more while well, we've got such nice blazing hot heat yes sir yes ma'am let's finish up frying these creamy crispy beauties Looky, looky. Come on, tell me that's not good. Tell me your mouth's not watering right now. Oh, you know it is. 
time for our presentation of garnish. What you want here is vertical, and then you can shave your parmesan on top, and then perhaps add some greenery for the scenery. Oh, they pretty. They so pretty. Ah, fuck all that. Let's get into these. He's a big dumb animal, isn't he? Super crunchy. You really pick up the pepper jack. Uh, a little bit of chew from that, from the cooked up. Uh, a little bit cooked pastrami, cooked pastrami from the cooked pasta. Another winner. Simple. Follow the steps. And looky here, it's time for mise en place number two. We've got our whipped potatoes, bacon, cheese, scallions, and a waffle iron. A friggin' waffle iron. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, ma'am. We're gonna cut that bacon. We had it in the freezer for about 30 minutes, so it's a little more easy to cut. We are going to drop that into a small little pan with a teeny little bit of butter. Irish curry gold, of course. We're going to preheat and plug in our waffle iron. Very important, want to make sure it's hot when the mix is ready to go. Now then, our bacon is rendered. It's nice and crispy. Yes, get a slotted spoon, pull your bacon out of there, save that grease, don't ever throw it away. Dame Milliner, I love you. I still have my carton of grease. Oh, so our waffle iron is up to temperature. Yes, we must spray it. Pan spray, waffle iron spray, whatever you get. But make sure it is lubricated. In goes a good old dollop. That straight mashed potato mix might be a little much. Yeah, pushed out the sides, but guess what? Look how good this came out. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So let's get something on there. Let's get some garnish. Let's go ahead and melt some cheese. What else can we put on there? Maybe that's good enough. I don't know. A little Pecorino Romano. There goes some green onion. Yeah, that's good for now. Cut them in half, then cut them in half again. We got four little waffle crisps. Oh my God. Hashtag OMD adorbs. Look at these. Oh yes. Once again, the waffle iron is up to temperature. Let's try this one more time. But let's get funky. What else are we going to throw in there? I see bacon. I see green onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. How about that right now? I know that right right there, Mr. Greg. Hell, look at this. Oh, my God. We're going to stuff these with that? Wow. Indeed, we are. We're going to take a couple of those pepper jack sticks that I bought for some ungodly reason. I think I might have been drunk at Walmart. Anyhow, there they are. We've got some mozzarella diced and chopped. Looky, looky here. There goes round number two. Wow. Wow. Bacon potato waffles. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cha. <laughs> One more time. Let's go, it's up to temperature. Let's get it greased up good with that spray. I've got sauteed mushrooms, bacon, pepper jack, mozzarella cheese. We're gonna load this mf -er up. Green onions, yeah, this will be the absolute loaded crispy mashed potato waffle. This will be the flagship. Looky, looky here. Let's go ahead and dope this up a little bit though. We're gonna flip it over. We're not gonna take it out yet. We're gonna continue to load this. Chunks of cheese, chunks of bacon, green onions, what else? Mushrooms. Slap it down one more time. Let's get a look at this bad boy now. Oh, looky, looky, here comes Cookie. 
Let's drop those green onions in there and we are ready to plate. We are garnished. Now for the dismount. And he nails it. Let's lay this out and let's get this garnished. Oh, they looking pretty. So pretty. Yes. Shave a little more Pecorino ah. Romano. And we'll add a little bit of warm Dijon mustard sauce from two tutorials ago. And we get a look. 